Hey Connor, this is you four years from now. I know you've already been here for three years and had one confusing middle school, but just wait until high school. High school will be the determining factor for your entire future, so it's important to take it seriously. I will say that I'm proud of all the changes you've made throughout this summer, and I want you to keep up this good work. Prove the people wrong from the Halloween party, just like you did. The ones who warned others, the new incoming students, to stay away from you. I want you to always keep in mind to take others into consideration, never be selfish, and just be a genuinely good person. I know it's frustrating to work with others sometimes, and people can really get on your nerves, just as they do even for me. But as you age, more responsibility falls on your shoulders, and you must keep yourself up and not blow up at others just because they don't know what you're saying or if they don't understand you. My first major piece of advice to you is to always remain firm in your actions and your path and don't let others keep you astray. But also, keep in mind that their opinions are valuable, as a new pair of eyes is always nice to have. It's very important to know that the only things you can change is yourself, and that you can never ever change someone else, and you must learn to accept that. Another important piece of advice I want to give you is to start caring a little bit more about your career, body, and even your future, and just everything in your life, a little bit sooner than you did. I always seemed to be a late bloomer, as my parents would call me, and everything came to me this year. But with three years of not so much effort under my belt, really hurt me and my family's ability to pay for college. Make sure to Skype with friends and work together, as that seems to always inspire you to do better and work harder. That brings me to another point, which is to always spend time with your friends. You've made some lifelong friends here, and you should never sacrifice them for anything. They are your best allies, best friends, and will love and support you through some of your toughest moments throughout high school, and I couldn't have personally survived these many years without them. Another piece of advice I wish to give you is that you need to make sure you care for the people you love and always make sure you're loving and supporting back to them. My father always told me that love is a two-way street, and as I've matured, I realized he's not just talking about romantic love, but every form of love. If you wish to be loved, then love. Some more things to focus on would be your discipline. Not procrastinating every project or homework until the last minute will severely reduce the amount of pain that school comes with. And those extra few points might get you high or even maximum honors rather than just regular. Another really important aspect in your life that you should change is your constant comparing of yourself to all your friends and family. Realize that you are different and excel just in different ways. Don't hide in your friend's shadows. Don't say that just because you don't get as high a grades as your sister means that you're the less favored child. Learn to accept yourself and always improve. I know it seems like a lot, but you can do it. Never doubt yourself and always try to improve rather than wallow in self-pity, and I promise you your future will be bright. Remember, don't always beat yourself up because someone is better than you in one area, and realize that you do have a purpose, as does everybody, and their your friends have theirs. If you put in a little bit more effort, a little bit more time, you'll be so much happier and well-balanced than you ever could imagine. Remember, go to camp, have fun don't don't try to ruin things or don't don't try to be sad about what comes i hope your four years goes better than mine good luck <laughs>